Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about difference between static RAM and dynamic RAM in operating system course, computer architecture course, computer organization course, computer organization and architecture course. It is one of the most important concept. First of all, what is a RAM? RAM is nothing but random access memory. It is a volatile memory. Once the power is switched off, whatever the content that is stored in the RAM is erased. Because of that reason, we can say that it is a volatile memory or a temporary memory. There are two types of RAMs. First one is static RAM and the second one is dynamic RAM. Static RAM can also be called as SRAM. Dynamic RAM can also be called as DRAM. Now, what are the main differences between static RAM and dynamic RAM? The first point is static RAM contains less number of cells per unit area. Suppose we are taking one unit area. In that area, static RAM contains very less number of cells. Whereas in the case of dynamic RAM, within one unit area, dynamic RAM contains more number of memory cells. Next. Second point, to access a particular word by using static RAM, it can take very less time. So that the access time of static RAMs are lesser. Hence, we can say that static RAMs are faster. Whenever the access time of static RAMs are lesser, execution time is also slow. Hence, we can say that static RAMs are faster. But whereas in the case of dynamic RAM, to access a particular word by using dynamic RAM, it can take more access time. That means it can take more time to access a particular word. Hence, we can say that dynamic RAMs are slower whereas static RAMs are faster. Next, third point, static RAM contains a number of flip-flops where each flip-flop can store one bit of information. So simply we can say that static RAM is a collection of flip-flops. Each flip-flop can store only one bit of information. Whereas in the case of dynamic RAM, dynamic RAM stores the data as a charge on the capacitor. Okay, based on the charge on the capacitor, we have to store the data in the dynamic RAM. Hence, the dynamic RAM contains MOSFET and the capacity capacitor for each cell. Next, fourth point. Cost of the uh, static RAMs are high, okay. Whereas in the case of dynamic RAM, cost of the dynamic RAMs are lesser, less cost. Okay, dynamic RAMs have lesser cost and static RAMs are more cost. Next, fifth point, refreshing circuit is not required in static RAM. Whereas in the case of dynamic RAM, refreshing circuitry is required to, st to store data as a charge on the capacitor. Hence, some hardware circuitry is required to control refreshing. Because of that reason, so dynamic RAMs makes the system complicated. Whereas in the case of static RAM, we do not require any refreshing circuitry for storing the data so that any hardware 
required any hardware support is not required hence the system makes the design simple whereas in the case of static ram but in the case of dynamic ram system design is more complicated because of refreshing circuitry so these are the five differences between static ram and dynamic ram i hope all of you understanding this video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and your classmates if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts for better understanding of computer organization or our computer architecture please subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivasarao after subscribing my youtube channel go to the playlist called computer architecture or our computer organization watch this videos and understanding the entire course thank you thank you one and all for watching this video